Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. I got spring fever. I'm gonna get out in the garage and take a look at my painted garage floor from this past summer. Let's see what we got. You can see that uh, I've just been sweeping, I don't know where all this sand and gravel is coming from, but I've just been sweeping it to the middle. Oh, looks like the big ass station wagon's got a little problem, might need a diaper. So the floor is in pretty rough shape from a cleanliness standpoint. Looks like there's a little bit of grit making it to the drain. Looks like there's a french fry. But I don't see any problems with the paint itself. Looks like it's holding up pretty well. Let's take a look underneath that oil stain over there and see if anything's loosened up. Boy, that cleans up easy. No, that looks really good. Nothing silly going on there. All right, I'm gonna get this floor cleaned up. Swept, blown out, and then uh, a light washing. Winter's not over yet, so. Here's where that fourth grade education really is going to pay off. Here we got the battery fluid and hand wipes. And oh, no, get back up there, you coward. What the heck? What do we got? Car wax, WD 40. No, that ain't going to work. How about this? Wash and floor cleaner. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. How about the, oh, look at the long range squirt on that floor cleaner. I guess that's for getting way back in the corners or something. Oh, well. We'll, uh, we'll grab this greasy shop rag here and we'll uh, just kind of work work that right in. And, uh, oh boy, it's not really working very well, is it? Kind of just smearing it all around. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking thumbs down. What do we what do we got over here? Let's, uh, well, well it's a snap on it. It's got a picture of a motorcycle, so we, we're going to try that. If it's good enough for evil, it's good enough for me. Uh, fight fire with fire. Put a little lube on that grease stain and oh, oh boy, that just kind of made it slippery. I don't know if that was really a good idea or not. So we'll uh, we're gonna we're gonna give that a meh, you know. What uh, what else we got here? Easy. It says easy. We're gonna try to easy. We'll just throw that cap right there. That'll be good for now. And uh, look at the. Look at the foaming bubbles on there. Hey, magic scrubbing bubbles. Well, we'll get our rag going again, and uh, we'll see how that works. Well, I tell you what, if this paint holds up to all these chemicals, I'd say that's a, that's a pretty good product there, yeah. It, 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 it didn't clean very good. Not really, no. No. we got to go back and find something else. I, this ain't going to work. Hey, hey, what's that over there? I think there's a can I didn't see before. Let me take a look at that. What does that say? Onest Ed. I, I don't know what that is. Ooh. That looks like it might just work. We'll get our greasy shop rag on there. And, oh, look how clean that floor is under there. That's all right. Yeah, okay. Splash. It's 
Scrub, 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 scrub. Okay, I got the floor cleaned up, swept out, uh, blew it out with a handheld blower, and lightly mopped it. I think in the summertime I'll use a garden hose and rinse it out better to get it a little cleaner, but for the second time having washed this in seven months, I mean, it's fine. That's dirt over there for sure. But there's some other areas in here, like right down there, it looks like dirt or grease. But in fact, this is just how thin the paint is. The paint is Rust-Oleum Rock Solid Garage Floor Paint. It's a two-part epoxy. And I think it's a quality product. I mean, even here where it's thin, this isn't peeling or chipping or any of that, it's stuck. You know, a lot of that is good prep work, but um, no matter how good the prep work is, if the paint is crap, it ain't gonna stick. And this is obviously sticking so far. So I'm good with that. Here where the hot oil has been dripping off the big ass station wagon, no issues, nothing's peeling. You know, I've been using a floor jack to, to do maintenance on the big ass station wagon, no problems at all. So I'm pretty happy with the quality of the paint. What I'm not so happy about is Rust-Oleum's recommendations on their coverage. You know, when I first got started painting this over on this side down here, I was putting it on as thick as they recommended. And it's just beautiful over here. But I quickly realized that uh, it was going to be you know, I was going to run out of paint. So I started stretching it. And there's spots that are just not thick at all. Uh, I should have spent another 75 bucks on another kit. But I didn't because I'm a cheap bastard. But I still blame Rust-Oleum. Yeah, the recommendations might work on a smooth as glass, non-porous surface, but on a rough concrete floor, not so much. But my overall impressions and feelings about the painted garage floor in Wisconsin are nothing but positive. I mean, to come out here in the wintertime, it's almost like a continuation of the house coming into a painted garage. If this was a greasy old concrete floor, uh, it's just not the same. You know, uh, even even with a snowplow sitting here, it's kind of like a continuation of the house. And why not? I mean, I got a motorcycle in the living room, so it's not that far of a stretch. So I think that's all I got for you on a seven month update for the garage floor paint. After it gets to be a year, we'll see if this is chipping or not. We'll be in the middle of summer. We're getting toward fall. And, uh, you know, we'll see how this stuff's holding up. 
So that's all I got for you on the Rust-Oleum rock-solid garage floor paint. Thanks for watching. Later.